updates for the Spencer Family Farm. We are headed to Tractor Supply and Red Barn, which is a meat store out by us. Um, while we're thinking of it, if you guys are watching this video, please click subscribe and like so that you're notified um, when we have new videos posted. We're posting our updates for um, the farm at least once a week so you guys can kind of see the progress. So we are in beautiful Loxahatchee. We have lots of farm stores and feed stores out here because that's just the way of life. All kinds of beautiful homesteads out here and we are headed to do the chores of the day which is we need to get all the materials um, for the pig pen and the goat in the duck enclosure we are um, going to be finishing up leveling out the property tomorrow and wednesday and then we take delivery on the pigs on friday and of our baby our pregnant girls or goat girls on saturday so we are headed to the feed store. Hopefully you're gonna pick up some posts, some pig pen, hat panels. We need to get block, all kinds of stuff. Uh, pigs are like Houdinis. They are great at getting out of their enclosure. So we have watched lots of videos and done tons and tons of research on how to um, keep the little piggies in their pen and make it, you know, safe for them and make it, you know, to where they're not getting diseases and stuff. We wanna make sure all of our animals are safe from predators and are um, safe for any diseases, uh, which will occur if you don't have your enclosures done properly. Um, you know, bacteria and stuff grows and gets into your animals and then you end up with sick animals. So uh, we're gonna try to do it right first time so we're not having to redo it which is why we've done so much research making sure we have the right thing so we're going to get some pick panels some some posts to um, do the corners we already have a bunch of T posts which is going to be the reinforcement in between the posts so we are on our way and we'll keep you updated So we kind of missed it, but you can see back there, my kids think that's haunted. It's quite funny. There's a lot of cows back there out to pasture. I'd love to have one of these old red barns. I just love it. It's one of my favorites. This is where you always knew you were close to I got you so far. So they don't really use it anymore. I see people here yeah, once in a while, cows. but. I think um, I think they use it for uh, storage. So uh, we're pretty lucky. About a year and a half ago, we finally, finally got a tractor supply store out here, which is going to be so much easier for us that we don't have to drive, you know, 40 minutes out of the way because there's nothing like up the street. We do have our own like little town where we have our pharmacy and our small hardware store and of course a Chinese restaurant and the McDonald's and that kind of stuff but for the most part we only have a few things out here that is that are really close you know grocery stores and stuff like that but um, no big box stores out here um, no super Walmarts or Targets and stuff but up the street well up the street for us is 15 minutes um, but up the street they put in actually a, um, a small state college on the left, and then we have our tractor supply. And then behind that, um, a few blocks down, we have Red Barn, where um, we get a lot of our feed and supplies for our um, animals and stuff. So it's nice to have a, you know at least a couple stores that is close for us to get. So we got a. This is all new in the not last year, so we have a um, little. Uh, little shopping center. We got an urgent care and a Dunkin' Donuts, which is very important. Hey, Dunkin Donuts. We are here. This is our local tractor supply store. We're so happy to have it out here in Lux. I can't believe they didn't have one before. This is where we get all of our goodies. Well, 
one stop down, two to go. We gotta go to Home Depot. There are the new pools for the ducks. We had to get two of them because right now we're using a baby pool and that's just not gonna cut it for very much longer. We got, this is the uh, gate to the pig pen. These are the 12 posts that we need for uh, all the different enclosures and then we got some more TIFOs. So we're good to go. We gotta go get some hog fencing. We gotta get, um, some cement blocks to go around it because securing pigs are it's just not a fun job trying to make sure they stay in where they're supposed to be yeah, and then we need a truckload of gunite and all kinds of stuff so this is just one of many stops that we're making